Hello, welcome back to Plumbing College. This is the first exercise I get my learners to do when they join me on a plumbing course. Right, so today's exercise is we're gonna cut five different pipes, all to 60 mil long. So we are gonna practice our measuring skills, but the tools we're gonna to be using to cut these pipes are plumbing tools, but if you were doing this every day, they wouldn't be the plumbing tools that you would necessarily use. So we are going to cut three quarter low carbon steel pipe using a hacksaw. We're going to cut 15 mil copper pipe using an adjustable pipe cutter. We're going to cut 22 mil copper pipe using a junior hacksaw. We are going to cut 32 millimeter waste pipe using a hacksaw, push fit pipe, polybutylene pipe using pipe shears. And I will also explain if you were doing this every day, what the best tool to use would be. But the tools that I'm going to show you also do the job. Um, and we're also going to be focusing on cutting all these pipes 60 millimetres. Remember, in plumbing, you get three millimetre tolerance. So when I come to mark your work, I'm expecting it to be 60 mil for a grade A. And if you want to pass, 63 is passable, 63 millimetres and 57. So aim for 60, but there's a three millimetre tolerance. Right, the first pipe we are gonna cut is 15 millimetre copper, and we are going to be using the adjustable pipe cutter. Okay, so the specification is 60 millimeters long. Never use a thick pen for this, because if you use a thick pen, it's just too thick, and that's like, that takes up like two mil, three mil, so your tolerances are used up already. 60 millimeters long, so 60 millimeters is six centimeters. We're gonna mark the pipe there, okay, like that. Place the pipe into the tool. So one, two, three, I'll show you in a second. So it's touching, touching the roller in two, two rollers. It's on the two rollers and that's the cutting wheel there. And we want, so we want our pen line to be exactly, so we want our pen line to be touching exactly the cutting wheel, which is there. What we then do, spin it, and we then turn it quarter of a turn. Still loose, still easy to turn, easy to turn, easy to turn, easy to turn, and it cuts like that. We then need to deburr it. Like that. So that side's deburred, and we also it's good practice to deburr both sides. So remember, remember folks, when you cut a pipe, you take responsibility for both sides of it. Okay. Right, so here's, here's the exercise that my class done, okay? So the first thing I look for is when I, is when I look at the class's work, is I then, so I'm checking the measurements for 60 mil. So I always look for the smallest one first, which is this one. So it needs to be at least 57 mil to be acceptable. So three mil tolerance from 60. So this one's too short. I eliminate that one. Then look for the next smallest one, which is this one. That's 55 mil. That's too short. And then look for the next smallest one, which is that one. That is 55 mil. That is too short. I then look for the next smallest one. It takes a lot of practice, folks. This one here is actually 50, about 58 mil, so that's fine, that can stay. I then look for the longer one to look at the other end of the measuring scale. So the longest one is here. All right, so this measurement is, this is about 62 mil, so that can stay like that. And then, once I've checked all the measurements, I then look for, 
I let me check for deburrs and squashing the pipe. Right, so I then look at the pipe and then check to make sure the students have deburred it properly and not over tightened it in the pipe cutter. So what I can see is this pipe here looks like it's been squashed. So it looks like the students, when they turned it, they squashed it too tight and it's deformed it. And if you can sort of see, that pipe's been deburred. This has not been deburred. Okay, so always remember, you need to deburr your pipe. Right, the next task is we are going to cut 22 mil copper pipe, 60 mil long also, using a junior hacksaw. We are not going to be using any vices because chances are, if he was out plumbing somewhere, no vices would be available. All right, that's what we do. Measure 60 mil. Spin it around. Measure 60 mil. Sixty mil. Sixty mil. Right, sixty mil. Put your work on the table wedge and you Okay, don't press too hard and you nice and slow. You slowly don't press too hard. Don't press too hard, otherwise the blade will snap. And use the full length of the blade. So when we've cut the pipe, we need to remove the burrs. It's quite sharp outside. So we, we need to remove the burrs on the outside, the inside, and make it a little bit flatter. Okay, so we need, for this, we're going to need a flat file. file for the insides. Right. So as a general rule folks, if I can't cut my finger on it, you've done a good filing job. If I can cut my finger, more filing is needed to be done. Right, so here is some of the work that my students done. So again, when I mark it, I always look for the longest one, which is that one. Okay, and I check the measurement. That's not within tolerance. It should be 60 mil, and that's reading about 65 mil. So that's no good. The next longest one is this. That's reading about that's about 62 mil. 62 mil. So that can stay. I then look for the shortest one, which is probably this one. It should be 57 mil to stay within the marking scheme that it is. Right, so then what I next, then right next, I then look down the pipe to check for filing and stuff, to check for good filing. So this pipe here, this is eliminated. The, the student has used it in a vice and squashed it. So never use copper in a vice. Okay, so as a, so as a general rule, if I can cut my finger 
by touching it inside and outside, you need to file more off. Okay, folks, so if you was cutting copper every day, either 22 mil or 15 mil, it's much easier to use a pipe slice. So you need one for 15 mil pipe and one for 22 mil. And it's just a case of Or just another putting it in. And no deburrings needed either. Okay, so but my previous techniques just help develop your help to develop your hand skills and you can appreciate some traditional techniques used before pipe slices were invented. So 15 mil pipe slice. And that's a 22 mil pipe slice. The next pipe we're going to cut is 32 mil waste pipe using a hacksaw. Right, so what we do is measure 60 mil. We can then wrap. Some paper around. Like that. What we can then do is so wrap some just normal paper around. And we can then, just another technique, draw a line all the way around like this. And what we'll do is using a hacksaw. We need to remove the burrs on the inside and the outside. So again, we'll make sure it's straight. File it straight. And drawing that line helps a lot. And also, we also make sure there's no burrs like that. Oh, this is some of my cast on. We look for the longest one, which is possibly that one. Check the measurement. Check the measurement. So that's sixty-one ish, sixty mil. That's fine. And then look for the smallest one. So that's about 54 mil, that's eliminated. Then look for the next smallest one, probably that one. And that's okay, that's 60 mil. Right, and then I then check to make sure that all the students have correctly, correctly filed down their work enough. So for example, here, this one, you can see the burrs. So that'll be a fail. And that one there looks a bit rough right there. So as a general rule, if it can hurt my hands when I touch it, it needs more deburring. Okay, so and that one. Okay. But folks, if you're doing it day in, day out, you can get a 32 mil pipe cutter, which is as simple as putting it on the pipe like this, cutting it. No deburring needed in a straight cut every time. So, right, the next pipe we are going to cut is 15 millimeter polybutylene pipe, also known as push fit pipe. Right, we need to make sure that the pipe is 
straight first before we measure it. Right, when it's completely straight, we then mark 60 mil, which is there. Right, so for this, you're not allowed to use, never use, never use a hacksaw. Okay, it invalidates the manufacturer's warranty. So we're going to use, for this one, we're going to use pipe shears. So again, what we do, put it in like that, and cut the pipe. Okay, if we used a hacksaw, it could leave burrs on, which could cause O-rings and washers to split. So that's why we have to use pipe shears or designated plastic pipe cutter like this. Okay, so let's let's have a look at some students' work. So I always check for the longest one, which is this one. Check the measurement. So that's about, uh, that's just about within, I'd say that's 63, so that's fine. I then look for the smallest one, which is this one. And that's about 59, 58, so that's fine. Then make sure the pipes aren't too bent to make sure that they've straightened the pipes out like I did. Um, I also look to make sure they've not used a hacksaw. So if you look on here, for example, this person has used a hacksaw, so that they failed because they've not listened. Okay. So DD, you failed. The final pipe we're going to cut is three quarter low carbon steel pipe. Okay, but for this, we are going to be using the vice and we are going to be using a hacksaw with 24 teeth per inch blade. All right, so we measure, that's what we do. So we measure 60 mil. Measure 60 mil. Measure 60 mil. Right. Put the pipe in. Close the vise, then place a bucket on the floor to catch, to catch the swarf. So when we're using a hacksaw, what we want is we have to use two hands, two hands like this, and we use the whole length of the blade. Need to make sure that it's we need to file off the outside and the inside to make sure it's a little bit flatter for this assessment. I'm gonna file it like this, like this, and also the round file. Right, let's see how my students got on. Right, okay, so the first mistake, some learners picked up the wrong pipe. They've used half inch pipe, should be three quarter. So let's eliminate all the wrong pipes. All that hard work. Okay, so that's, okay, so that's the first elimination round. Right, next job is I, the next job is I check the measurements. Okay, so 
have a look for the longest one, which is probably this one. Check for the tolerance, it should be six mil plus or minus three mil, that's good. Then look for the shortest one, which is this one, which is 50 mil. Okay, so this one is eliminated because it's 50 mil. It's probably okay. Right, so I look for the next shortest one, which is this one. That's about 50. Eight mil, that's fine. And then finally, I then check the filing. Okay, so I put my thing going inside, outside. Okay, if I can cut myself, or if I feel any sharpness, it's a fail. So this one here, this one here, I'm feeling. I'm feeling sharpness. This one here, you can probably just about see it on camera. That'll be eliminated. Okay, that's enough. So folks, if you was doing low carbon steel um, day in, day out, you're probably using, you would probably use an electric tool or even this adjustable low carbon steel pipe cutter. Okay, this would be more useful because it will give a straight cut. So you put it you put it in, let's put it in the vice. Leaves a big bow on the inside. Folks, if you get time, I want you to cut some 110 mil plastic pipe. So this is used in drainage, 60 mil long. So what we're going to do for this one, we're going to measure 60 mil. Just like before. What we do, folks, we get a newspaper. That's our line, and we wrap it around. So it's nice and round and it's all in it's all in line like this. Then get a pen. And draw a line all the way round. Like that. Okay, folks, and the challenge is we're not allowed to use vices or anything because on site you wouldn't have vices. So we're going to use a, like a wood saw for this. And what we're going to do, we're just going to follow our line. Okay, but don't press too hard. If you start to press hard, it makes it all move. So do it nice and soft. Follow your line. Follow your line. So follow your line. Turn it and follow your line. File it down nice and smooth. Remove any outside burrs. Remove the inside burrs. Okay, so remember folks, as a general rule, when the teacher touches your work, it shouldn't hurt the finger. It should be, if it's gonna hurt the teacher's hand or finger, it needs more deburring or filing.
now you've had your first plumbing lesson, can you meet my strict tolerances and standards when using certain hand tools to cut certain pipes? It's your turn to do it. 